All right, let's keep going with expansions, continuing on with uh, some more problems here. Number four, find the image of a triangle with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1. Well, it only would take a moment to plot that out. Here's 0, 0, here's 1, 0, and 0, 1 would be up here. I hope you can see in this triangle we have a base of 1 and a height of 1. We all know that the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So the area of this figure is, well, 1 half of 1 times 1. That's just 1 half, isn't it? Well, if we were to transform that, uh, and this is a little more abstract, you know, k times x, 0, 0 is going to remain at 0, 0. Uh, but 1 comma 0, well, my goodness, as we look at that, uh, we can see that the image uh, is going to be k times the x-coordinate. k times 1 is k, so we'd have k comma 0. Uh, our y-coordinate, though, it remains unchanged. It's the same. And when we look at here, 0 comma 1, well, k times 0 is still going to be 0, so... 1 comma 0 is sent to k comma 0. 0 comma 1 is not changed. Only the x coordinates are affected. So what do we see? This is 0, 0. This is k comma 0. And then we've got 0 comma 1. So we have this stretch that looks like this. Our base is k. Our height is 1. The area is 1 half k times 1. That's 1 half k. What have we just shown? We talked about that in the last video. The area is k times the original area of the triangle. Take a look at number five. What happens to the circle under the transformation? Well, uh, we've already done that with the ellipse. Super quick, x would equal x prime all over k. y was equal to y prime all over m. And if we were to substitute these values in, we'd get x prime all over k quantity squared plus y prime all over m quantity squared. Set that equal to r squared. So uh, what are we seeing? This is going to be x prime squared. And we can drop our primes now, most certainly. Uh, we can just say here's our uh, x squared all over. Down here is k squared. Uh, we could just say y squared. Don't need parentheses, really. Down here is m squared. Uh, we could even divide by r squared if you would like. We could have originally written this out in the form of an ellipse. Uh, but you might see that multiplying by k is going to uh, enlarge the area k times more than the preimage. Multiplying by m for our y, likewise, would multiply by m. What happens to the circle? It becomes an ellipse. Uh, it's going to be, of course, uh, an area that's k times m larger than the area of the circle. Okay, of the original circle, of course. So uh, that's really what we've got here. Writing it officially as an ellipse, we could divide both sides by r squared. I hope you can see if we multiply by r squared down there, we could even say this is kr quantity squared plus over here is y all over, uh, uh, what is this, m r quantity squared equals 1. Okay, so it does in fact become an ellipse. All right, let's see. Take a look at number six. We'll just do this last one, a little shorter video. How does the transformation x prime equals negative 2x and y prime equals y uh, differ uh, from the transformation x prime equals 2x and y prime equals y? Well, you know, this second transformation right here is an expansion of factor 2 in the x direction. 
In other words, all of our x-coordinates would be multiplied by 2. And uh, our new image would be 2 times the area of the original. When you're looking at this negative 2, it still is going to be an expansion of factor 2. However, there's also a reflection over the y-axis. Okay, that's really what we're seeing right here. The negative, for example, if I were to give you the point 1 comma 1, where would 1 comma 1 be sent? Well, your image for x will be negative 2 times uh, that 1. And then our y would be the same. So, yes, there is a multiplication of 2. It's as if we went to uh, from 1 comma 1 to 2 comma 1, just as we see down below. But what does the negative do? Well, the negative is going to flip that ordered pair over the y-axis. So you can see over here is 1 comma 1, and then over here we'd go to negative 2 comma 1. So that's really what's happening here, having a little bit of trouble uh, with the pen here. But uh, hopefully you can see that that negative is definitely always going to relate now to a reflection. So a reflection can get put in there as well. It will then, of course, uh, reverse orientation. If we were naming a triangle as we did up above, uh, and for that uh, earlier problem, uh, for number uh, four, uh, you can see in more detail. Perhaps this can even really uh, help you uh, see what's happening. Looking at 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1, if you were to multiply by negative 2, uh, of course your triangle would get flipped over the y-axis. That's all I wanted to talk about for today. The next time we're going to hit uh, shears.